Craig Kimbrell, one of the most accomplished closers of all time, is still a free agent. On Thursday's ESPN Baseball Tonight podcast, former Blue Jays executive Keith Law explained what he's hearing about why there's a ton of interest in Kimbrell, Law said. My understanding, and I just talked to another executive the other day about this, his asking years have come down, but his asking AAV, average annual value, has not. What he's asking for does not reflect how the market views relievers in general, and the fact that last year, if he'd be coming off how he pitched in 2017, it would be a different story, his walk rate was up, his velocity was back down again, people know relievers are volatile and the last time we saw this guy he couldn't throw a strike. Recency bias or rational, it doesn't matter, it's the last thing everyone saw. If that asking price matches what the Athletics Jason Stark heard during the offseason, well, it's pretty easy to see the issue here. Over $16 million per season for a reliever off a declining year is a steep price. At his best, Kimbrell was worth that kind of money. Now, it's likely hard for any baseball front office to justify multiple years, even if it's not six, at that kind of money for a reliever. For a team like the Phillies, $16 million for even just one or two years wouldn't break the bank. But it would push them right up against the luxury tax for 2019, giving general manager Matt Klentak almost no wiggle room to work with at the trade deadline in July. MLB Rumors, Mets, Yankees, Phillies battle for Dallas Keuchel? The New York Mets, New York Yankees and Philadelphia Phillies are possible landing spots for free agent Dallas Keuchel. Kimbrough posted a 2.74 era over 62.1 innings last year. While that number wasn't awful, Kimbrell so, BB rate 3.10, strikeout rate 13.9 per 9, and FIP 3.13, were all well below his career rates. The 2019 season will be Kimbrell's age 31 campaign, and 10th overall in the majors. Joe Giglio may be reached at jgiglio at neadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Joe Giglio Sports. Find NJ.com on Facebook.